Big shout to the ghosts and the ghost sets. I take you to Portland where Antifa is talking about the Gypsy Jokers 1% Club saying that they tried to kidnap them. We have some footage. We're going to break it down on this episode of Demons Row TV. And oh yeah, we ghosting, baby. Big shout to the ghosts and the ghost sets. Welcome to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle and motorcycle club involved. I'm Sos the Ghost. I'm your host for the evening. And this right here is the Twilight Zone. First off, I just want to say something. I'm going to run this clip quick. We're going to get right into this. This lady right here is from Antifa. Of course, her face is covered up. They are making allegations right now saying that the Gypsy Jokers MC is trying to kidnap them, shoot them, all type of stuff. These same people who we know peacefully protest the best kind of people. How could these bikers, these outlaw bikers, these Gypsy Jokers do that to these type of people when they're just trying to defend their freedoms? Let's get right into this clip. This is Twilight Zone level. Just after 8 p.m., um, officers were called to the 900 block of Southwest Broadway Drive um, on a disturbance call. And while they were still en route, uh, they got updates from, uh, from radio, from our dispatchers, that shots were being fired. Uh, so officers put in a, um, a shelter-in-place order. Uh, I believe it is a, an apartment complex. They put in a shelter-in-place order, uh, arrived, and set up a perimeter. While they were investigating and addressing, hey, yeah. um, hey, perhaps, guess what? You guys want to talk about how a white supremacist kidnapped me and those charges got dropped? Ted they Wheeler are murdering said. us. Ted Wheeler said, they are murdering us. us. The Joshua Take Dunham kidnapped me and almost murdered me. He's on a 911 call. Gypsy Jokers. They are sending white supremacists to hurt us. First off, I just want to say something before we fully get into this clip. I'm, I'm. There's so many things that I got to break down in and out of this. So we have a black officer, a clearly black officer, and we have a white woman that is saying white supremacists, white supremacists, white. Like if you say it a whole bunch of times, it doesn't make it true. Let's let's get this super clear right now. If a white person commits a crime on another white person, it is not white supremacy. You can't pull that card. So it's like stop doing it already it's not realistic it's just a fantasy world and if you want to call them anything call them a big supremacist call them what they are some dudes that got drunk and smashed your big ass and they didn't want to talk to you no more how many cops were off on august 22nd how many cops were off letting them shoot at us in the street letting us buck our buck the, all this i ain't going to stand here calm and down, let these cops down, lie. I'm not going to stand here oh. and let these cops lie when they are sending gypsy jokers to kidnap us. When they are sanctioning this violence against us, as Ted Wheeler is telling these white supremacists to stand back and stand by. We are dying. We are trying to peacefully protest and they are killing us. And I want to know if any of you care. I want to know if this police officer cares. I want to know if Ted Wheeler cares. Andy, no! We are not going to let them capture the narrative and lie. Let me ask you a question. Isn't Antifa's whole thing defund the police? Why are you asking police for help? You literally have that area of Portland shut down banging on the cops the whole time why are you asking them to help you i can't understand this like if you're gonna play one side play that side to the one thousand percent it's so crazy to me how these people main objective is to defund the police 
and openly in every situation where they take a L, they want police help. You cannot make this up. How is it possible to play that side, but then on the same token, want to receive help from the people that you've been throwing piss at and doing crazy stuff to, starting fires, doing the craziest stuff? Why would you want their help? This officer's a black officer. He's not saying anything about any supremacists, any of that stuff while he's trying to do his report. And she just says it like a million times. Like that's their go-to card. It's like the idiot card. It's the divide card. Let me bring that up. And then people will automatically be like, oh, well they're racist. So, you know, but he's a black cop. Where is your, you know what I mean? It just doesn't make any sense. But let's get into the full news story. It says, imagine the irony when the very same violent Antifa militants who spent the last two years promoting defund the police now blame those same police for not protecting them when their intended victims fight back. Antifa in Portland apparently tried their bully tactics on the Gypsy Jokers Motorcycle Club. Bad decision. Bad decision, Antifa. You went to the wrong place. Over the weekend, the things turned out, surprise, violent. In the end, one dead and five more wounded. Police tried to put together what just happened. Meanwhile, Antifa is blaming the police, not themselves for the violence. At the same time, Antifa's leaders are telling their members and people in general not to talk to cops and to pull down social media posts that contain photos and videos of what happened or else. So they're threatening people from getting the truth out. And that's how this works. And that's why MCs need to start getting the word out of our side of what's going on. We have our own medias now. Reach out. Stop letting the media who hates us so much be the only word that's out there. That sounds like witness intimidation, doesn't it? If police really were to blame for what happened, why isn't Antifa falling over itself to provide the evidence? After all, these violent extremists love to record their exploits. The post millennial has the details. A mass shooting late Saturday night has left one dead and five injured after Portland area Antifa held a gathering in solidarity with Amir Locke, a 22 year old black man who was shot by police in Minneapolis earlier this month i just listen and one thing i gotta say this has to stop like if you honestly do you know how many people die do you know how many little kids are getting shot in chicago the crazy stuff that's going on in different areas new york how many people are dropping stop using it as an excuse for political gain and the people who allow them to to rile you up start using your own mind stop letting groups like this use you for their political agenda a woman was pronounced deceased at the scene and two men and three women were taken to nearby hospitals, according to the New York Times. Two suspects are reportedly in custody in response to the shooting, according to KPTV. The shooting occurred at around 8 p.m. near Normandale Park. Tweets from Antifa members and groups told far left comrades that they were present not to talk to police investigating the shooting, to delete evidence posted on social media, and to keep posts including photos, videos, and first-hand accounts related to the incident to a minimum so that you don't receive a knock. MCs, that's what this is about right here. This upside down pyramid, this zombie fist, this is what this is about. Unification, everybody else is unified why aren't we doing the same thing we need to do it before it's too late before we're in a situation where there's so many people you can't even catch up with them look how formed up and, and armed antifa is that they took over a whole city area don't become a victim the time is now for unification the time is now for us to start standing tall together this isn't about race to the people that think this is about race that was a white woman that was a black cop. Let's wake up. Let's stop using it as an excuse. Hit me with that pound ghosting in the comments. Shout to everybody if you want to support the role. Follow us on Instagram at Demons Row, at Sos the Ghost underscore. We're on Twitter too, at Demons Row on every platform. We got new designs out now. Ghosts Against the Machine. That's what the name of the movement is. We got the patches coming out soon. And I'm going to do a video about it and really break down the meaning of it. Let's unify. Share this video. Let it resonate throughout the whole MC community. There is a voice and there's a platform now that is for our culture and will not pimp it out. Thank you for tuning in to Demons Row TV. 
the holy grail of MC culture. Like, subscribe, and comment. And oh yeah, we ghosting, baby.